Welcome to ICCV 2021. It's a pleasure to present the ICCV papers of the TUM Visual Computing Lab and our collaborators. Enjoy watching! We present retrieval views to tackle the task of 3D reconstruction. We explore tasks such as point cloud to surface reconstruction and super resolution where we have spatial input conditions for reconstruction. Our method first estimates approximate reconstructions based on retrieving volumetric train trunks from the database. We then learn to fuse these approximate reconstructions to a final output. To enable retrieval-based approximate reconstructions, we learn to embed chunks in the input and target domains to a shared embedding space such that input and target chunks with similar geometry lie closer in this space. Once trained, we use the embeddings of the train set chunks to index our database, which contains all volumetric chunks present in the train set. At inference time, for a given input, we project chunks of the input into the shared embedding space and retrieve k-nearest train chunks in the database to obtain our initial reconstruction estimates. We then refine these initial estimates. We extract features from input and retrieved patches, and then use an attention-based blending to learn to select and blend retrieved patch features and input patch features based on feature similarities between spatially corresponding patches. The blended feature grid is finally decoded to output the reconstructed geometry. We present dynamic surface function networks for closed human bodies. Our task is to reconstruct the surface of a moving human, including the post-dependent deformations of the clothing. We propose a novel explicit representation that allows us to reconstruct the surface as well as animate it afterwards. At the core of our method is a deep neural network that represents the dynamically changing surface. It is embedded on the surface of a template mesh. Specifically, given an arbitrary point on the template surface, the network predicts the actual surface point. To handle post-dependent deformations, the network receives additional post conditionings as input. In this work, we rely on a monocular RGBD sequence to optimize the deep neural network to best represent the entire sequence of a human based on dense geometry reconstruction terms. Here, we show the evolution of the network output during optimization. Once optimized, we get a reconstruction of the surface for the entire sequence as shown in the following examples. We investigate the question, can 3D priors help 2D representation learning? We introduce a novel 2D-3D joint pre-training algorithm which imbues geometric priors from RGBD data into learned 2D representations for downstream 2D tasks such as semantic segmentation, object detection, and instance segmentation. We leverage RGBD data from ScanNet to obtain view invariant image-to-image -image correspondences. From a 3D scene, we associate image pixels which see the same 3D locations, although their surrounding image regions might look different due to different views or lighting. The 3D data also provides, by nature, image geometry correspondence. We then pre-train by leveraging contrastive learning under our geometric constraints. For our view invariant contrastive loss, we consider pairs of images with pixel-wise correspondences. The images are encoded with a shared 2D backbone. We can then construct our view invariant contrastive loss between feature vectors from the output feature map based on their pixel-wise correspondence between images. We also introduce geometric prior contrastive learning. For each image of an RGBD sequence, we consider the corresponding geometric volume in the 3D scene. We then compute the geometric prior contrastive loss between the 2D 3D correspondences. We can also jointly train with both losses together. We present neural parametric models for 3D deformable shapes. A learned approach to disentangle 4D dynamics into latent space representations of shape and pose. In practice, our implicit shape and pose spaces are implemented as two separate multilayer perceptrons. Once learned, NPMs enable test time optimization over the learned spaces to fit new observations. To learn NPMs from a dataset, this should follow two simple constraints. 
each shape identity is posed canonically, and second, each shape identity has several post or deformed instances for which dense surface correspondences to the canonical shape are available. The laden shape space, implemented as an autodecoder conditional on a shape code S, learns to implicitly represent different identities in their canonical post by mapping a query point X to its SDF value. The laden post space is conditional on both the identity shape code and a post code P, and learns a mapping from points around identities in their canonical post to the corresponding point locations in the deformed post. Thus, fitting an NPM to an input sequence of n frames amounts to jointly optimizing for a single shape code as well as for n post codes that best explain the observations. We present ID Reveal, an identity aware deepfake video detection approach. We propose a method that does not directly detect whether a video is real or fake, but instead we ask the question whether this is actually the person who is claimed to be. We only need a set of pristine videos of the claimed identity. We compare the resulting feature embeddings in a learned feature space. This embedding space is trained only on pristine videos of many individuals, but it is not dependent on a specific manipulation method. For each frame, we use a 3D morphable model to extract face features. Our temporal ID network maps these sequences into an embedding space, clustering them by identity using metric learning. In addition, we perform adversarial training by synthesizing these features. This incentivizes the network to rely mostly on temporal characteristics instead of only visual cues. We present 4D complete, non-rigid motion estimation beyond the observable surface. Given a depth sequence of a deforming scene, the interframe motion can be determined by non-rigid tracking algorithms. However, due to occlusions and limitations of range sensors, existing tracking methods only handle the visible surface. This causes discontinuity and incompleteness in the motion field, as shown in the red area. How can we estimate the motion of occluded regions? We tackle this problem with a completion approach. Our method takes a partial scan and interframe motion as input and predicts the complete shape and motion field in parallel. To train our network, we propose a large-scale synthetic dataset called Deforming Things 4D. Here we show some examples. This dataset provides complete shapes and dense correspondences for training our 4D complete networks. The dataset is also tailored to tackle many other tasks using data-driven approaches including scene flow estimation, non-rigid registration, learning riggings from observations, and generic non-rigid reconstruction. In total, Deforming Things 4D contains 1,972 animations, spanning 31 species with 122,365 frames.